Today, we're going to talk about the presidential candidate, Kamala Harris. First black lady in that position. First Indian lady? I don't know. We'll come back to that later. The relationship between Kamala Harris and the black community is a little bit weird, to say the least. So there's a lot that we don't know about Kamala Harris. There's a lot that we think we know about Kamala Harris. She's still kind of unknown, even after all this time in the White House. So we're going to go over a couple of things that people got some concerns about with Kamala Harris first. And I'm not sure how important this is, if it's important, if it's not important. I don't know. You guys let me know down below. But a lot of people have been talking about Kamala's dating history lately. She's a married woman now, but she did have a little bit of a past to the history. She's 60 years old. Everybody's got a past at that age, right? People have been raising the issue of her relationship with California politician Willie Brown. Uh, he was a former mayor. I want to say he was in the House of Representatives. Kind of just a power broker in the California political scene. She was the little side ting, you know what I mean? I mean yeah, you know what I'm saying? He was 60, she was 29. We know what that was. Not saying it is wrong, but we know what that was. But after Kamala's relationship with Willie Brown, she also dated a few celebrities. Um, one of the more famous ones was Montel Williams from old talk show fame. So being one to have some public relationships, there's been questions about that. I'm not sure how much that really matters. Like I said, everybody's got a pass. The one thing that people are concerned about is that Willie Brown was married during that time. Some people are having issues dealing with, you know, the person that's supposed to be a, a moral authority, a leader of the free world, being in an adulterous relationship and being a side piece, you know what I mean? But that's neither here nor there. I don't know. I don't really particularly care too much. Teach his own. Another thing that people have an issue with with Kamala, 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 I'm not sure how you, you know, it's a thousand different ways. It's her own self-identity politics, right? Kamala seems to straddle the line sometimes between her and her identities culturally. Sometimes she's Indian. Sometimes she's Black. I mean, she was born in Oakland. Her dad's a Jamaican. Mom's Indian. Uh, but I think she was, you know, from everything that I can see and everything that I researched, she was raised more with the Indian side and the more Indian influence in her life. But, you know, my personal opinion is if you're half Black, then you're Black. But... Who am I to say? I don't, I can't say that. But she did go to a HBCU. She graduated from Howard. She's definitely taking part of black experiences going to a HBCU and pledging to a black sorority. She was also a member of the Congressional Black Caucus as well. So I, I can't really say that she doesn't represent black, though a lot of times in recent interviews or not even recent, but just over a political career, she's made a point to identify with the Indian side a lot more so than the black side or the Jamaican side specifically. This is not something that we hear too much about. We hear way more about her Indian side from the foods that she was raised eating just to her life experiences growing up. Who's to say? You, you can't say that she's not a black woman. But if she was really black, she would have knew not to wear some single soul Tims. I don't know, right? I don't, I don't know how you miss that and her weird Tupac takes. Sometimes black people ain't the coolest and ain't the most into the culture, but that doesn't mean that they're not black. Black isn't a culture, uh, it's a race. And regardless of whatever side of the spectrum that you do fall on as far as traditional black issues or traditional black culture, just because you're not necessarily a part of that or relate to that or kind of embody it and embrace that doesn't mean you're not black. So making her way up the political ladder in California, specifically as her stock as a prosecutor, there's a lot of questionable and a lot of concerning issues that she has. And hold on, and, and I got to say, I got to do a little bit more research myself. But, you know, just the concerns that people have with her locking people up in California for weed and then going on the breakfast club and kind of laughing and making, you know, jokes about her even indulging in it herself. Uh, it's kind of a little bit hypocritical, people would say. The reports of her having a guy on death row, even though she had evidence that would exonerate him just because she wanted to win as a prosecutor. And we know how these prosecutors play with these games. It's a job. They got stats. They got bosses and supervisors. It's more so about winning percentage, uh, conviction rates, than actual justice sometimes. It's sad, but this is how the game goes. And a lot of people, they don't really know how to feel about that. If you're so pro-Black, 
Or if you identify as black, would it be kind of hard for you to lock up so many people for something that's trivial just for your own political achievement? I don't know. I guess that's part of the game of politics, though, right? Then we have another big elephant in the room with the Kamala campaign. Kamala seems to be being viewed a lot differently between women and men, specifically black women and black men. As I said, she did pledges to a sorority, epic fundraising efforts that she had in the beginning of her campaign, uh, support of all the black women, uh, what do they call it, the Divine Nine, and just other women's group bases that she has to pull from. Uh, there's a lot of support for her on the female side, specifically the black woman side, which it kind of, I don't know, I'll come back to that. From my anecdotal evidence or experiences, she's definitely doing a little bit better than Joe was, but not that much. Trump's definitely had some stumbles a little bit. He didn't look the best, so he's not doing himself any favors either with the black community, or as he would like to say, the black population. That just sounds weird when you say it like that. Like it's, it's stuff like that, Trump. You gotta stop that. But anyways, I'm finding a lot more men, black men, and you know other races, white, Hispanic, split a little bit on Kamala. It's still kind of seeming like we're trying to pick the lesser of two evils here. And a lot of men just don't know how to feel about that yet. And this isn't even really trying to be like on some gender war stuff. I think just men and women's interests tend to diverge, especially the older that you get. Men tend to go a little bit more, well, really a lot more conservative leaning, especially as you get older. And some of her policies and actually, I don't need, what, are her, what are her policies? And that's one of the biggest problems. She's been on a three and a half year job interview and no one can really say what she's done. What has she been in charge of? What type of agendas has she got through? What she accomplished as a vice president so far? It doesn't seem like a whole lot, right? I mean, she was supposed to be border czar, but we're not going to talk about how that's going. Outside of that, I don't know what she does. I don't, I don't think anybody knows what she does. We hadn't really seen her a lot until the campaign. She kind of just like tucked away in the corner doing whatever she do. So with that being said, how does that really instill confidence in people of the type of job that you'll do as a president, what your policies would be, what you'll be trying to push forward. Uh, we just don't really have a lot of clarity on where she stands on a lot of issues, what she authentically believes on some of the issues. She's been known to have a little bit of word salad every now and then, all the time. So yeah, it's just, I'm just curious. I'm, I, I, I'm not sure what she does or what she's going to do if she wins. But is she a better option than Trump? That just kind of goes to which way you're leaning politically. And, you know, I think the people on either side, you know, left, right, Democrat, Republican, liberal, conservative, people are probably entrenched in their camps and nothing's going to change that at this point. But there's still a large segment of the country that's in the middle that are moderates or independents or just undecided at this point with the two options. How can she do a better job of capturing those people? What's that going to look like? Is she going to promise to do anything specifically for Black people? That's been a big thing, not just with herself, but the Democratic Party in general, after Black people supporting and voting that way for all these years. And it doesn't seem like we specifically get a whole lot out of it. Not that the Republicans do a whole lot for Blacks either, but I think a lot of Black people that are kind of sitting back and just letting the candidate kind of earn their vote this time for the first time. And honestly, I think that should continue. Uh, we really shouldn't be aligned to either party. We should be aligned to candidates that are gonna do what we need them to do and serve our specific causes, uh, just like every other group in this country. Uh, so yeah, it just boils down to how much do you trust in her? Do you feel that she's more competent than Trump? Is she more of a grown up than Trump? Probably. Do you agree with her political stances? If you know them, if you know them, Drop them down here, because I don't know. Yeah, it just boils down to how much the American people are going to trust her, what type of faith we have in her as a person, what we can learn about her, and what she plans to do on this job. It's really on her to get us comfortable with her, right? She has to sell that, sell who she is authentically. I don't think that we really know who Kamala authentically really is. What do you stand for? Not the politician Kamala, even though I know you've been in politics 30 years, but what does Kamala the person stand for? As always, like, comment, subscribe. It's a conversation down below. It's back and forth. Yeah.